Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gaba QSA. In this video, we're going to continue with the class about how to become a computer technician. If that is your case, I hope you have seen the, the other videos in the playlist. Remember to watch them before you watch this one. So, in this case, we're going to talk about adaptability versus versatility. So, if you don't know what is this, I'm going to uh, try to explain you because a computer technician have to know many things, no shells to fix, fix a computer, and it, it will be good to know many other things. So, adaptability is someone that adjusts to a change, or to change. So, it's very important that, the, for instance, a computer technician will be able to fix a computer that is maybe hanging under the bridge, or maybe under a very obscure desktop or desk and that way you have to be able to be comfortable around people, maybe kids, maybe dogs or something like that if you are going to visit a customer at, at their home or maybe you are going to a company, if that is the case, usually you are not going to find any dog or any kid so let's, let's hope you are not going to find any, any of that but if that is the case you have to be uh, prepared to work in those environments because uh, some people they want to work when they are alone they work well but when they are uh, surrounded by other people uh, maybe you are not used to it uh, you're not used to pe uh, people talk to you while you're working or maybe you cannot uh, concentrate uh, properly and doing your job and maybe if you're new and you're not very secure of what you are doing and uh, you have to consult uh, Google all the time or something like that it will not a very good thing so that is one of the things that you have to uh, tell uh, to the customer in case if you are having trouble uh, getting uh, concentrated on the, on the task please say uh, very gently <laughs> to the customer hey please can you leave me alone <laughs> in, or in the word that you want to use saying hey uh, please, uh, I'll let you know when I finish. Um, some, pe some people, maybe the customer will uh, try to look at you all the time and breathe under your neck to see uh, how you're uh, working on their computers. Um, maybe they want to learn. So, uh, the, the best case scenario, or what I recommend always, is try to adapt. If you're not feeling comfortable, try to, to get used to it until you can uh, work on a computer with your eyes closed. So, uh, the other thing, it will be uh, versatility. Someone that adapts to different situations. So, that is uh, very important because the job of a computer technician is not just repair the, the computer uh, nothing else. Uh, sometimes you have to think out of, of the box and it happened to me when I was uh, living in, in Argentina and I had my computer business over there. Now I'm here in USA. Uh, that sometimes I have the companies or uh, like a manager calling me, hey, the computer is not working, can you send me a co uh, technician? i say yes, so the technician will go. And sometimes the technician go. Um, the computer is not working and it's not working because maybe the, the breaker or maybe the computer was unplugged because someone was uh, sweeping the floor or something like that and you have to know a little bit more about uh, those things and also I mean because if you're thinking well the computer is not working maybe it's the power supply maybe it's the motherboard maybe it's something else but maybe you have to just test and check the, the basics a thing maybe you have to know how to use a multimeter multimeter so many uh, people they don't know how to use a multimeter so that is is very important if you if you know how to use one of those you can say hey yeah okay let me before taking the computer apart the removing the the panel and all those things uh, let, let's check the the power core so if you see the power core okay the power core uh, doesn't have any, it doesn't have a current inside, so you can you measure and you don't see anything. So okay, let's see if the power core is connected. Maybe the power core is connected, but the power strip is not working properly, or maybe something else. It happened to me uh, with uh, that I saw a very 
I mean, the computer it was um, was brand new almost, and um, the power core was very bad. I mean, it was new, but the quality was uh, very poor. And then I was uh, measuring the um, the power strip or the outlet, and I have a uh, current. So I was thinking, well, okay, I have current, but in the other connector, the in the one that it goes into the computer, it didn't have any current, so I was thinking, well, it might be something with the cable. So I changed the cable and the computer started working again, and maybe if you know those uh, those things, uh, that would be important that, that you know about electricity a little bit more, and maybe on other things. Uh, sometimes the customers say, hey, the computer is not working, um, or the computer is working fine, but uh, let's say for this example, okay, but my phone is not working properly. Or uh, I hear noises or or something like that. You, you or it's not working at all. You, you and if you're there next to the computer, you say, okay, let me check. Um, maybe it's a cable. Maybe you can repair it. Or maybe I don't know. It depend, depending on where the com the customer is. Uh, if the customer is in the middle of nowhere. In the boonies and um, you don't have any uh, electronic store or you don't have any uh, Best Buy next to you to uh, go and buy, I don't know, let's, let's say a mouse, a keyboard or maybe another uh, part of the computer and maybe if you have a soldering iron maybe you can sol uh, solder the, the device and, or the, the contact that are not working or maybe the cable got, uh, I mean, someone cut the cable or whatever is, is the reason is always good to learn uh, those things. And if you don't know something and maybe you you want to start working for yourself, maybe someone asks you, hey, can you install this camera, uh, like surveillance cameras or something like that? And you say, well, i never done it before, but if you, if you don't mind, I mean, I can learn. I can read and then maybe you start uh, taking a class or whatever and then you say, hey, yes, I can do it, no problem. I mean, if you want me uh, to, to do it and if you don't mind uh, learning before doing the, the job, I can do it or otherwise you can call uh, someone else. So it's, it's always very important to be 100% uh, clear with a, <laughs> with a customer and tell, uh, tell them what you, what you know and what you don't know. I mean, if you don't know something, I mean, it's, it's not a very big deal. I mean, you can say, you can be, be very truthful, say, hey, yeah, I don't know this, but I can find someone who knows it, or let me search on internet, let me read a little bit about that, and let me try to fix it. Also, another uh, very important that happened to me a few times is when I go to a customer, and the customer say, hey, I have a problem with the accounting uh, program. Uh, is I see some errors. Uh, can you fix it? I mean, I'm not an accountant. Uh, I, many times those programs are like very special. And, I mean, are just for certain people, like the accountants. Um, it's not something that you're going to be. I mean, it's not something that you're going to see everywhere, and that you are going to be able to play with it. But if you start searching on the internet, or maybe you call, you can call to the tech support. I have done this uh, before. Uh, when I go to a customer and they say, "Oh yes, I have this special software that is for I don't know uh, to handle to use a certain special machine or, or like accounting or whatever is the case," and I say, "Hey, do you have a?" The phone number of this company. I mean, I, I don't mind uh, fixing the problem for you. I don't know this program, but if if they provide me tech support, I can call them. I know the lingo. I mean, I know how to talk to them. I know the the words that they are going to say. I I know how to use the computers. I know the thing. Maybe the customer does, doesn't know what is a megabyte, what is a hidden file or maybe how to copy or uh, how to do many other things on the computer and because you do you know how to do those things maybe you don't know the software but you know how to uh, work around uh, all those all those things and um, if someone is able to help you uh, like the tech support of that uh, software you are going to be able to fix it i have done that before and it works great if someone is knows uh, what they are doing and they know how to guide you, you can do it yourself and meanwhile 
you are, you are going to learn. So the next uh, customer who asks for the same program, are you are you going to say, ah, yes, uh, this error, I know this error, so I know how to fix it because someone else explained that to me and then you can do the same quickly, uh, very faster, I mean, uh, very quickly for, for the customer. So uh, that is basically what I wanted to explain. So also, always try to keep learning new things all the time so you can be more useful and if you're going to work for a company it's better when the more you know the more responsibility they can give you the more money that, 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 that they can uh, pay you so i hope you, you have enjoyed this class click like subscribe to my channel remember to go to my website and you're going to find the forum uh, maybe another uh, classes and exams and all those things. See you next time.